What if there was a way to store experience instead of just being able to collect it like this in the form of experience orbs? I discovered a create add-on that lets us do exactly that. But wait a minute, I have an announcement to make. I have just set up a Discord server for you guys. Many of you have been requesting it and I spent some time, set it up. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing in terms of Discord, but here you go. Maybe some of you guys can help me fine tune everything. I'm gonna put the link in the description and hopefully you guys join. I'll be in there pretty regularly if you wanna come just talk to me and yeah so enjoy the rest of the video hello everyone and welcome back to my create mod series that i'm doing i'm not in the survival world at the moment but we will be there later today um today i just wanted to try to automate the creation of experience orbs through the create mod with our new mob farm and also like be able to collect it because i discovered that sitting there killing those mobs manually is not fun and i did some research and it turns out there is a way we can manually or we can automatically not manually we can automatically store the experience so look here i was doing some research and i saw that crushing wheels apparently can get experience from kills we just take a mob and put it inside of the crushing wheels like that sometimes it will drop experience orbs or what are they called experience nuggets and with those nuggets it's like stored experience but the problem with the crushing wheels is that they do not drop it very consistently or i think they do i've seen them drop it like once anyway they don't drop it very consistently now if we come over here let me just open this up for you guys to see we have a deployer set to a attack mode and it's moving pretty fast got the create um the creative engine right and if we take a let's just say a mob and we put it in there let's just put some fences so we can see it like that and then we have a mob in there like a husk all right gets three hit and then you have a nugget of experience down here. I'm just going to take these out and delete them so you can see the accurate amount per kill. It's not too much, but it's still stored, it's still stored experience. So see, there's one. Because when the deployer attacks something, it goes into the um, inventory of this, gets sucked down through here, and it comes out through here. Now, we can take these nuggets of experience, and then we can set up something like this. This, let's just break this so it doesn't shoot out. This is a disenchanter right here and what this does is it's like a experience drain like it sucks up all the little orbs and converts them into a liquid and if we have another deployer let's say like underneath that or we send it somewhere else we can take those nuggets let's just get some yeah we can take the nuggets over here and just drop them in and you see that they get deployed and put into experience and then the experience goes into here into the tank because we have liquid experience and that's how we're going to store experience as a liquid so that we can store mu much of a lot like a lot of it in a small amount of space this is not too much but with an automatic mob farm we'll just have mobs coming in this thing killing them i think we might set up multiple in a row or two of them like in our mob farm so they're just constantly killing the mobs and then we have shoots that take out the items and we'll send just the experience nuggets into this thing to get deployed put through here and then down and if we put a funnel here we can extract it oh that's the wrong way like that and it just shoots it out and we can collect it all and i guess there's a there's a achievement for it but that is the basic way on i how i see us collecting experience and storing it and all of this is possible through a create add-on called the create and enchantment industry i'll make sure to leave a link to the mod pack in the description because it is a mod it's not just like you don't click add on you have to go search for it but i think it's it works pretty well with what we have here here we are back in the survival world now that was just the testing one we were in the testing world earlier and we are going to try to set up those deployers and the fluid tanks and everything to store the experience uh what does a fluid tank actually deployers are probably more difficult oh yeah brass hands i might have some just lying around somewhere and it does not look like it so i'm gonna get all the ingredients together and then we'll go head over to the mob farm and we'll try to set this up oh look at that i did have two deployers just sitting in here those are from when i made the mining machine i had two extra i think we have everything so let's try to get this automatic killing system installed here we're gonna want to put the deployers here and set them to attack mode so that when the mobs are here they are just punching them them. I need to get some trap doors. Do I have any extra wood? I don't think I do. Hold on. Oh, yes, I do. So we're going to put some trap doors on these blocks like that so that the mobs can still get punched, but also cannot escape like the baby zombies and everything. We're going to need to remove all the shoots down there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Uh oh, I think I just broke the lights. I very much did just break the lights. I need to put those lights back quickly. There we go. The lights are back. You guys can stay in there while I try to figure out what just happened. Okay, so I must have broke this transmitter and then the transmission to the lights ended. And I can't even sleep. Hold on. 
Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to work without breaking that transmitter now. And with that, I think we need to gather some experience orbs to set the filter. But before we do that, I just want to set up the part that dispen the disenchanting this. And I just realized we need another deployer. So I'm going to go ahead and get that real quick. All right. Now with the deployer, we can take it and put it over here underneath this area. Uh, I'm going to just, you know what? I'm going to vein mine, clean this out. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. And we put this guy here. This is going to be on the use item setting. This guy goes here. We'll add some decorative blocks here. You know, keep it contained so the XP doesn't go flying. But the main attraction here is the fluid tank. I think I want to send it up to the surface so we can actually see it. Just to make it a little bit cooler. It might take a little bit more work, but oh well. Why don't we put it here for now? And eventually when we decorate this place, we will change it. It's just for show. Well, not for show right now. It's just for function right now. So we take this spirit. Oh, did it take? my experience oh it did okay so we have our little tank and the tank needs a pump so the pump will come out of here hopefully this is enough pumpage to pump it up there probably not cogwheel you're gonna need to go like that and i'm gonna have to steal some power from somewhere up here oh there it is and that is the pump connected to power uh i don't know how much or how far this is gonna go oh it seems to have emptied let's see did it go up into the tank if so then we already completed our little task yep it did so it's already up there and we can probably turn the mob farm on just to see if this works i want to put some more covering around this because i don't want it to i don't want the experience to go flying everywhere let's sleep so we get some good lighting now we need to turn this on for a second so we can get some of those experience uh nuggets i'm gonna come down here and turn this filter on actually i probably shouldn't have installed this yet let's just take this back and now that we have the nuggets we need to figure out a way actually that we can filter out the unwanted items oh what did i just click on what did i just click on Okay, we do not like that. I do not like that. I just wanted to throw these things out into the world. So we need to figure out a way to filter out the items from the experience orbs. I might have to redo some of this stuff here. I think I got it working. Um, I just moved it down a bunch and I added a chest here to store the items. And this pulls from the chest so that we can pull stuff from here, this side and send it to wherever we want. Now to load this thing up, we're just going to put the experience orbs in here. See if they get deployed. They did. They get shot up. Look at that go. And... We have experience in here. Now let's see if the mob part works. Turn this off. Here come the mobs. So we're at 718. We want to see if this goes up. Yep. Look at that. Experience is being stored automatically without me having to kill the mobs or do anything. This is pretty cool. So I think you guys know how it works. I think I explained it pretty well. There's some experience down there. That's not good. Oh, because I'm so close to it. It's probably pulling it away from it. That's kind of why I put it far down there so I could be far enough away from it to where it wouldn't pull experience points towards me and they would all go into the little deployer thing. Thing, but it looks like I might be too close. You know what? I'm going to turn this off for a second and we're going to go put some blocks here and just all around this so that hopefully the experience stays in there. Let's turn this off and see how just just let it run for a little bit and see if this how long or how much this fills up with. Why is it so difficult for me to talk today? So I went to AFK um, for a little bit to see if I get some XP and the game crashed and I tried to reload it and it crashed again. So there's some sort of error in the game regarding the deployer deploying those XP orbs and then they're flying around and stuff. So I found a much easier way to go ahead and put the nuggets of experience on the uh, the disenchanter right here. So if we, we just use a belt and all we have to do, this is so much simpler, is just take these and you throw them on there and you just get absorbed. There's like, there's nothing complicated to it. So I don't know what I was doing. You can even throw them on top, can't you? No? Oh, you have to use a conveyor belt. Okay, just kidding. You have to use a belt. But it, it just goes in and then it, it gets collected over here. So um, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try and do it with the... I have to revert the world and then I have to go in and do it again. So it might take me a little bit, but hopefully I can uh, save the world. So this is kind of scary. Let's go see if I can save it. We are back in the survival world and that took a long time to fix that problem. So there was a block ticking entity error in terms of the disenchanter and I'm not sure what was causing it, but something was causing it to crash the game every time I tried to log in. And I just had to go through a bunch of stuff and delete the block out of the world. Like, can I click on my bed? I had to delete it out of the world through a third party something i had to go into the files and find where it was in the files and then delete it and since i did that then the world is world is back and let's see i this is all completely set up completely automatic we have this installed to get the xp directly out of the um chunks or whatever they're called the nuggets and we set up a little thing to collect the drops and this is over here punching them i set up some hoppers so it goes directly into the chest even if this doesn't pick it up so how much experience are we up to now we are up to about a thousand millibuckets and that took way too long to figure out but it's working now so all i have to do really 
is AFK somewhere around here for a while. And hopefully all of the drops get funneled down into the, the one spot and we do not crash. Hopefully that's the, that's the plan here. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit again and see if I actually can get my XP up. And then we'll see how much we get after like, I don't know, a few minutes or so. Uh, so I let it run here for a little bit and we're up to almost 2000 millibuckets, but I just wanted to see if there's a way that we could empty this and we could see how much experience was in there. I don't think that's gonna empty it. No, you need a pump. And a pump was really simple to make. It was just something like this, but I need to power it somehow. And there we go. So look at this. Now that it's shooting out XP, we get an achievement. And you know, this gives me an idea. What if we were to make some sort of fountain that we could stand under and maybe there's a pressure plate or something and it activated the XP to just come out. And whenever we wanted to level up, we could just run over here and then immediately just start leveling up. And with that, this is our fountain. We now can, I need to, uh, this is gonna be the way I'm turning it on and off, but we now have a way to store XP, get AFK XP so I don't have to kill the mobs. And you know, I think this system works as it is, but in the future, I wanna make a really, a much better one once I have more infrastructure down. I know I, I'm, I think you can automate villager trading. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think you can. So maybe we automate villager trading and we have them trade them swords. Then we enchant swords with like sweeping edge or something. And then we send them to the deployer and the deployer, the deployers kill the mobs with the sweeping edge sword. So it goes faster and stuff. It's just a thought for a farm in the future. Maybe we design it in creative and then we implement it in survival. What would you guys think of a, just like me designing stuff in creative video? Is that something you would want to see? Or is that something that sounds boring? Let me know in the comments, but I think that's all the time we have for today. Or we're going to end this getting our XP out of the fountain. Um, yep, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this little, it's probably going to be shorter. I don't know, video. And I'm still taking into consideration your comments from the last video. Thank you for all the comments. They, they really helped me think about this topic. But thank you again for watching. Uh, thank you for the subscribers. We're getting close to 200. Thank you for all the support on the recent videos. And we might switch it up this next week. We'll see. We might have some new types of videos. But I think that's going to be all for me for now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. And bye-bye.